Hey guys, Cool Blonde Way back. I'm Rick. Aaron. Rick. And we have returned with Cobra Kai. Hey. Last time on. Oh, we were below the border. Yeah. So that's, that's where uh, yeah. Amanda looked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's chosen, showed what below the border was like. Uh, you could easily wear a Speedo. Come on. You well, know? No, it, naked in the baths. I understand. Kind of shrinkage. You know what? I, I, I can swimming in a pool naked yeah. would probably just be freeing and fun. Have you ever skinny dips or anything? I mean, at home in my in like my parents' pool at one time. I remember that. Yeah. And we, we we did that, and then like someone showed up randomly. <laughs> like, oh shit! And I was trying to get their clothes on. <laughs> yeah. We didn't start that way, but so we all had our trunks like nearby and stuff. Oh. But like, okay. I was like by the edge of the pool trying to get them on so no one could see. Sure. Yeah. I remember that. But no, not that's the only time I can remember. Terry's got to chosen some more senseis. What? You know what? That works. <laughs> okay, now we're at 72. Are we going to see Miyagi? I mean, hiding is no enough. What are they doing? They're toughening. The fingers. Let me see who? Is this, this is Sato? Look at the hair. That's his hair. Sure. あ、こっちにやつしやつ。ああ。お前はどこになりたいんだ、挑戦。それとも臆病者になりたい。あ、kind Let's see what they, you don't know what they know? Yeah? So, you are a champion? Yeah. yeah, I guess. Good. And I will not go easy on you. <laughs> I, love his, I love his face. Like, I want him to hold back, but I also don't want him to hold back. <laughs> I'm beating up kids. <laughs> Gracias, gracias. It's custom decal. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And All right. Yeah, tow the van. What? <laughs> you can hear him hitting the chains. No. I ain't a burrito. burrito. I ain't have a burrito either. He's from her previous marriage. Mm. Mm. Never had any kids of my own. Mm. Well, I was almost a family man once. Even got married. We started talking about having kids, but she left. She left. Hi, Vicente. Anna. What's that? That's it? <laughs> that is everything. <laughs> I I lost. Sensei. Joichi Tatsuya. Hmm. Everyone calls me Joe. Joe. Sensei Joe. Sensei Joe. Joe. Working out our champion. Those train the mind. Entering the body. <laughs> Breathe. Push. Yes. yes! I love it. Kick its head off. Yes. Oh, game recognizes game. You know, Tang Su Dao. Mm. Where are you from exactly, Sensei Joe? Kyoto. Ah, beautiful. I've always loved the Fushimi and Ari Shrine. Uh, too many tourists. Nanzenji Temple. Much better for your next visit. Hmm? Keep sniffing. I got deodorant on. What? Guy, the impound lot said we need 4,000 pesos. I love that. Why are they at an arcade place? I love that hoodie. Is that what this is? Okay, no. <laughs> I don't know why that's what I went to. I saw that. That. I thought they were in some kind of weird arcade place. Ah, oh, it's a gambling place? That was close. They're doing pepper challenge. Look at the milk. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mom and I watch hot ones all the Hot ones, I love hot ones. Hey, reference YouTube. They started on YouTube. I would not Maybe. go to a heat challenge with someone from Mexico. I wouldn't. Well, I don't think you do very well. I don't think you do very well. Man, you don't know. Yeah, I, do. I would do terrible. I'd eat all y'all. Yeah, we can agree. Rick would eat. Rick would be <laughs> the one you don't want to eat. We could go to Canada. Man, all the we go to Canada and eat those. Oh, jeez, look at him. Oh, don't touch your eyes. Oh, my God, you're already sweating. <laughs> That's my boy. Little Moss. <laughs> he 
Give me the hottest pepper you got. El Dragon! El Dragon! Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> For a pepper. <gasps> no, please, listen to me. Miguel, don't. Come on, let's go. Hey. Then I suit. Texas. Oh my gosh, why is this guy walking like it's nitro? He's shaking. He's shaking. His hands. <laughs> it's like he's worried he's gonna blow up. Oh no! Oh no! I hope he runs away once he opens the lid. Okay, they skip to the final round. <laughs> he has dogs. That's great. Going all in. Totally. Aaron, would you try it? You got this. Yeah. Better than any day of the week. What is he doing? Getting it all over. He's got to get centered. Centered. Okay. We're getting some of the oils off. So he's doing work. it. Or he's doing a swap. He's doing Miyagi Do. And that's our thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Swallow it quickly. Does this guy ever eat a pepper? What's this guy do? He's just a pepper judge. See how you handle it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, there are rounds, I think. Well, he said that, but I haven't seen him eat one thing. He gobbled that up. The way he ate that was not centered. Look at his head. As a juice. Chew faster. Look at it. Swallow it quickly. I've never seen that before. Does that happen to everybody? It happens to you, Eric, but you just have hair in your I don't have any movement up there. Oh, he tapped out quick. Oh. Yeah. Pepper my. eating man coughs. You win. Dinner and drinks at my house. Amber, will you make sure Sensei Joe gets all my info? I'll see you tonight. Okay. Nice guy. Don't kick his wife. She doesn't like that. You think she's alive? Isn't she gone? He kicked her. He kicked her. <laughs> yeah. I need to talk to you. Nichols, I she you mind. Excited to take things to the next level. What's the point? You'll just pay to make me champion again. Okay. So you know about me, right? Have you told anyone else? No. Oh, not yet. That's the first thing people ask when they were gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you choose to leave, I won't hold it against you. But if you come back tomorrow, I will make you the future of this dojo. The decision is yours. Hmm. He's so good. He is. <laughs> Man. She completely forgot about Honor. <laughs> <sighs> He's chugging all of them. Oh, man. <sighs> they already tagged the van, too. That's funny. Yeah, I stole the We're in the FBI church. Last chili. He did. I did it. Yep. I knew it. He used Cobra Kai and Miyagi Do. What were you chewing on then? <laughs> <laughs> Deception. Like hell of a story. That's about the most badass thing I've ever seen. It's pretty badass. Carmen? Tony, Everyone's cheating. He doesn't understand that he's in danger. He doesn't know the kind of man Hector is. Who is he? You haven't Nothing. told him. How would he know? Right? <laughs> Stay away from that wall. That wall's dangerous. Why? Now I gotta look at the wall. <laughs> El Pollo Verde. What is it, like a fighting place? He's taking him there to fight because he's a champion. He's gonna use him. Yep. Oh, it's the fighting no. pits. Oh, man. This is not good. Hey, this way. This cage. This is awesome. Uh, I knew you would love it. Salud. Karate's pretty different from MMA. I want to put him in that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's get, much different. Yeah. You know, ground and pound in there, you know? You just get double legged. <laughs> now we can dig deeper, figure out what his plan is, and if he gives us anything, we can pounce on it. Too small. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I think I have a great one in another closet that's a size up. Just let me have. You just go like that. Man, look at his place. Uranium. Plutonium. Oh, his butler's badass looking. 
He sees the weakness. I thought they're scarier than him. <laughs> this could be his bodyguard. This music is fantastic for Terry Silver. That guy put out a gun so you can be like, I wouldn't be the only surprised. I don't know. He has Cobra glass work. The cancer. has an expiration date, so I'm just too smart. Mm. I like Eventually that. he'll figure us out. And when he does, be ready to fight. So why do you want the job? You assume I want the job. Ah. Uh, I'm not yet sure. The other I haven't chased yet. My father died when I was young. Mm. Or killed him. It's never too late to get the last laugh. Right? That's totally him. That's totally Terry's <laughs> over. I want to show you something. He's going to fight a ghost? I think it's a mystery opponent? Uh, Maybe? FBI, open up. Hector the Salazar, you know him? Hector the Salazar. Necesito a home break. I need man. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Son of a bitch. Oye, ellos no tienen I think the FBI, I can't believe they did that. That's so good. Who were you on the phone with earlier? Uh, he thinks my he's mom. A... She's checking up on her. Right, 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 right. So. You came to Mexico all alone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, uh, oh, the pink highlight was here. I know what you said. Were you following me? What? No. Are you with the feds? No, 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 absolutely not. What's your name? Searching for a wire. Give me your phone. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not Don't nice. make me ask again. Eh, not such a nice guy anymore, huh? Got seduced by his chin. He's gonna find his mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He didn't look how fuck. Oh, oh man. Sorry about that. Kid. Sorry. People are not always what they seem. Mm -hmm. No, they are not. You can never be too sure. I wonder if Miguel changes his mind now. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. They're obviously not FBI. Look at them. Oh, Let's shit. get out of here. Come on. Show these feds how we fight. <laughs> it's like wrestling. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Crazy white man. Oh! But he escapes. Come on, Johnny. He's doing karate. It's karate for seven days. Oh, well, this isn't fair. Yeah, that's how it all works. Uh oh. Good thing he's wearing gloves. That's a shitty shirt. <laughs> Music. White lightning. The pepper. Oh, is that what that is? That's yeah. dirty. Oh my god. Oh no. He might lose his eyes. Yes, kick it. They maced him. Don't dare say Hector. Kick him more. What were they? Rah, rah, rah. White lightning! <laughs> white lightning! This one. Oh, a sword room. I guess. I'm thinking a lot bigger than just. Uh, spreading Cobra Kai across the country. The world. Are the tools that kids all over the world need to become stronger. 
So he just wants to help kids. That's something I might feel comfortable confiding in my right hand man. Mm. If you're willing to take the job. <laughs> like sucking him in with something he doesn't know. Yosh. Yosh. A toast then to righting the wrongs of the past and coming back on top. Cotty. He's a manipulator. We don't know. He doesn't know exactly who he is, you know? Oh, ah! <laughs> don't ever make that mistake. He's got Things one beer in. <laughs> Her mother even worse. <laughs> of course. And you know what I remember? Listen. Nothing. There you go. Miguel, here's your answer. All right. Nothing. I'm going to head out. That's the cost of doing business. That is the cost. All right. Miguel, leave. Don't don't get angry. Don't say it. Sorry. Oh, don't say it. You're all right. Tell me you're okay, Miguel. I don't know, but... Miguel! <sighs> yes. <sighs> your dad was there all along. <laughs> Mickey? Okay, Ma. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna hug the FBI agent. He's gonna come out with his gun. You might be right. I'm freaking out. <laughs> and he sees Robbie now. Dude, it's okay. They came to here. Come on, yeah. Okay, no. Go ahead. That's where you're gonna come out. FBI, you're hugging him. I knew it. <laughs> oh, please. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm back. Where's everyone else? No. He's got to fight the other. Since it's just kind of initiation you're gonna be or the something. Right hand man, you gotta fight all the other hands. You gotta break all the fingers. One versus six or two versus six. Oh, chose. I'll let you know. Have you ever heard of a man, Asataka Takatsuyo? Takatsuyo. About a hundred years ago, he moved from Hiroshima to Scotland. He studied organic chemistry. Then he returned to Japan with the secret of a great whiskey. He built up his own distillery just outside of Nyoko. His brand, Suntory. The whiskey we drank last night. Considered the best in the world. I've had the pleasure of drinking it right where it's made. And every time I raise a glass with one of my old friends from Kyoto, he tells me, come by. So imagine my surprise when my new friend, Kyoto, raises a glass and says something they would only say in Okinawa. 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 Damn it. Oh, man. Let's do some work. Kari. 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 Anyone who takes this man down gets the job. And I will pay triple shit what I promised. This is how he handles problems. It's crazy. <laughs> Are you doing it all at once? Yeah, spread out. Flank him. Oh, chosen. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, Bam! <laughs> I like how he has a side patch, too. Did you see that? How long do you think chosen is? Oh! Jeez. <laughs> Look at the guy, he's so scared! <laughs> of course, he's the only rational man here! Hey, only one person gets tripled. Though. I thought those two were gonna run. I got that, I got that guy's weight. Yeah. 
Joseph's definitely the best sensei here. Yeah, but maybe you tire him out. You think Terry can take him? Oh! He just killed that guy. That's so scary. No more expansion. No more senseis. No challenge Miyagi-Do. Not come near Rauso family. You cross line. He will beg for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what, Terry? That's the word. I was worried that Terry was gonna like realize that Chosen's a real deal and not have this be a karate contest. <laughs> but he did, so thank God. You gonna shoot him? No, but it just seems silly to know a little bit to be like, well, oh shit, you beat my six guys, all right. <laughs> you know? I guess, yeah. <sighs> Like this man's a titan of industry. Yeah. But he has a legacy he loves. I, I, I like that they're cre they've created this, uh, uh, his ambition. Like, he thinks he's doing the right thing. He thinks he's helping these kids. They're his children, you yeah. know? Preparing, like, making them better for this cruel world. Yeah. But just like in Pokemon, the trainers aren't always good. And you can't, sometimes you can't blame the Pokemon, you know? Mm. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Aaron, you're too ready to be like, what are you talking about? And then you're like, shit, that made sense. <laughs> uh, my favorite part was, El Dragon! Dude, that pepper eating contest. He, yeah, he tricked him. I've never... That guy walked, yeah, he walked out like he had like... <laughs> that was so that, good. Like, something was going to explode. It was like know? nitroglycerin oh, in there. Shit. Oh, God. Let <laughs> I me mean, get the tongs, yeah. you know, just... <laughs> it was like it was like he was handling sarin gas in the rock. <laughs> yeah, right. It was crazy. I loved it. It was great. And then they came back to fight the the MMA dude. Yep. Yeah, they did. It did. Oh. And their FBI shirts. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that came back too to be like I think the FBI's here. It's like what? Oh that was my really god. Funny. Yeah. Was it was so certainly wasn't my favorite fight in the show, but it was very funny, and I love the music in that part too. So. And Miguel learns that his dad's not not. I mean, you were wrong, mom. It's like, what was she? Dude, like, yeah, he he. From when he said, "I think that you were wrong, mom," to when this happened, like that was that guy broke down quick. The FBI showed up and he just fucking went. He's like, "I'm getting out of here. We're gonna leave mm -hmm. for a few weeks. Fuck her. Fuck that kid." Yeah, <laughs> you know, like everything broke apart. And the what do I regret? Nothing. Before yeah. it was like, oh, she left me. You know, I once yeah. was in love and I could have had a family, but yeah. she left. As opposed to. Well, I'm glad she left because look at all I got. And sure. the women just bring you down. That's his whole speech, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like the sun is women. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know if we were going to maybe try to go the direction of like, well, yeah, Miguel's looking for a father, but maybe this father needs a son to get back on his own path. But mm -hmm. they kind of made him seem a little irredeemable. I don't know. Yeah. He just seems like a bad like yeah. cartel kind of guy. Yeah. And it's not up to... It's not up to Miguel to have to deal with that either. It's not his responsibility. It's, sure. It is the dad's responsibility, but he skirted oh. that a long time ago. I so worried Miguel was going to, like, like in, a, in, like, an anger kind of moment, right? Like, emotional, whatever. Sure. Like, blurt out, like... I'm your son, yeah. Any yeah. of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you regret nothing, you know? Like, and be angry about it, but he doesn't know about him. I'm no. glad he didn't. And he still Because then that puts the danger on Miguel and his mom and... Who should have told him about his dad. I, I mean, I don't get, like, maybe in the beginning, but I think at a point, if he especially starts asking questions, like... Yeah. As soon as he leaves from Mexico, you leave a very detailed text. <laughs> sure. Look, he's a cartel guy. He will kill people. Yeah. He's running from the FBI. Whatever. I mean, you, I, I, I understand... I mean, not really. I'm not a parent, but I guess I would understand the motivation of, like, this kid, as long as you don't tell him, will always have this idea of what his dad could be. And you don't want to rob him of that, right? In a way. No. But once it becomes real and he goes the, looking for him, like, I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. That's I'm what saying, saying like, I can understand the impulse. Early on, I wouldn't. Yeah. But later on, when he's asking more questions, I probably yeah. would have told him more. You don't want it to feel like, I, I think it's easy to think that, like, well, your parents define who you are. Yeah. So you don't want him to think that, like, growing exactly. up, it's like, oh, my dad's this, I, that's what I'm supposed to be, yeah. or any of that kind of stuff. You don't want to, like, taint their perception of themselves. But I think you get to a point where it's like, I should probably yeah. let him know more of like why I say he's so dangerous. And like you said, especially if he takes off to Mexico. <laughs> Perhaps I should text him. Hey, 
your dad is dangerous because. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like when your kids are, you know, young and they believe in Santa, it can be a fun thing. But, you know, eventually when they're 13, like setting traps in the chimney, it's like, okay, we got to speak. What do you mean? We need to talk. No. No, that's when I get you to dress up like Santa and come down and they catch him. Like, oh no, what have you done to Santa? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, kids! <laughs> Christmas is canceled! <laughs> I thought the chosen mole thing would last a little longer, honestly, but it's done. I mean, I guess in like a when you have a season for ten episodes or whatever it is, yeah, and you got to show that if Daniel is going to start doing this type of stuff, this deception thing, we have to show that Silver is already better than you. I think. Yeah, he's the master. He can't not be amazing at that, or else sure. it undermines everything we know about him. Yeah, he played Crease. He played Crease. Yeah, I did like Chosen's first strategy of like. And you start having him chase you as yeah. the uh, mm-hmm. as the right hand man. Like, yeah. oh, that's a good idea. But I think that he and I think he was good up yeah. until the final part of a green. Yeah, and then that's what tipped him yeah. off, you know. And then he looked into it and why. But no, like Terry, even I don't know if I want to believe. Like I think Tori did a good job. She might have won that, but was I'm trying to remember. Like, was there something that like should have disqualified her? Well, you know, like paying off refs. Like, how far did she get that she should have been out before that fight? Or the, well, the ref, he made a call that was clearly wrong mm-hmm. in her favor during that fight. Yeah, during that fight. Yeah. So, like, then you just can't believe it's it. just one of those things where I think that if you wanted to, either by pleading ignorance or truly believing it, you could believe that she won that fight. But I think the honorable thing is, if is, if it's in doubt, you say something. Sure. Right. That's the right thing to do. But it wasn't about the right thing. It's about insurance. It's about yeah. making sure he I mean, he can dominate. He can turn Cobra Kai into a business, and he's a business dominator. You know, that's what he does. Daniel is trying to kind of, like, get to his level to fight him, and I don't think that's the way to do it. Yeah. But I don't know what the way is. I, was, I don't know if you guys noticed, but generally people like that rule the world. Really? <laughs> <laughs> generally, it doesn't work out for, the, for Daniel LaRusso. I was kind of hoping that... Chosen would make it as a sensei, yeah, and that there would be like a connection between him and Tori. And, and then he, I liked, yeah. I liked the moment between him and Tori, and yeah. like, why you here is like honor. It's like that's it. It's like that's yeah. everything, you know. Like his viewpoint, and then her, her she's dealing with the cheating, mm-hmm. and did I really win? You know, yeah. there is an honor there. Of like, there should yeah. I say I lost? And there's yeah. a cheating aspect. And I was hoping there'd be a connection between those two, kind of because of that. But I don't think we're gonna. And then that also, anymore. they're they're challenging the audience about what your level of honor is because from one moment we can be like Tori, do the right thing, be honorable, and then I can watch uh, Johnny and his son doing the pepper challenge, and you find out like at first I'm like, oh, he's doing Miyagi Do, he's getting centered, you know, but he's doing Miyagi Do and Cobra Kai in deception, and I have a certain amount of pride I have for him. So I, as an audience member, am being hypocritical sure. in the level of honor, right? Yeah. Like, which is why we can challenge an audience or these characters to say, like, what is the right thing? I don't know. Well, yeah. You have the fight there, and, like, but that guy's holding Johnny and punching him. That's not yeah. fair. But then, like, Robbie throws him a pepper, and he squints <laughs> in his eyes. We're like, yeah! You know, it's like, well... And that was the dragon yeah. pepper, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Carolina Reapers, you get that juice in your eye, you can go blind. Like, yeah, I'm surprised he could have it in his pocket, and his eyes just went watering all the time. Yeah, right? That's you, Rick. Like, if I had a pepper, like, in my pocket you didn't know about, you'd be like... Hey, in <laughs> fairness to Rick, you did try the really hot Nashville chicken. And I, felt, I felt like you did okay with it. That chicken was pretty warm. That was hot, man. What was it called? What the cluck? What, what the, the cluck. cluck. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the few... It was like, what level of spice do you want? Like, yeah. I want what the cluck. And for me, that was one of the few, like, this is way too hot and tasty things I've ever had. It was so good. Yeah. Did that in ranch? <laughs> yeah, that does it. <laughs> Dip it in milk. They had the uh, <laughs> the cobblers with the ice cream. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Really good. You eat that after the what the cluck. Oh, I did. I think I saw someone else's. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you might be right. Oh, I need man. more. <laughs> I, uh, Aaron, <laughs> it was really funny, like... I wasn't even thinking about that guy looking at them out there hugging, and he's wearing an FBI shirt. <laughs> but I love the way your mind goes, where he's like, oh, fuck, you know, I don't know who that kid is. The FBI. They're hugging. I, I was knew right. <laughs> of course he would <laughs> hug the FBI. gun takes off outside. Can you, know? you imagine being like... He's already drunk. Yeah. Imagine you're watching Breaking Bad or something, and Walter <laughs> White is looking outside, and like a CEO and, and an FBI agent come and hug, and he's like, I knew it. <laughs> it's, yeah. so, it's so funny. I was, I mean, I was worried about it. I'm glad it didn't happen, but yeah. I, I love the moment. Uh, like, he's like, 
crying and stuff. Yeah. And then he sees Johnny, and Johnny's here for him. Yeah, Johnny's and like there. I get what you meant. Like Robbie's showing up, being like, "Oh shit, is this gonna cause cause problems?" But at the same time, like Robbie's here with him. Just talk. Yeah. And they came looking for Miguel together. Like Just that, talk. That should mean something. It you should. Know? So that kid stuck around. He's there. You're like, hey, you see another person up here hurting. You can show some respect. You don't have to love him, but you yeah. can show some respect. Sure. Like, Robbie just comes out. He's just there. Yeah. Like, he's not trying to cause problems. He's just there. I feel like Robbie, through, with all his faults, he has some mm-hmm. level of respect. Like, he'll use different things, like, different tools that he's given. Mm-hmm. But he feels like he pushes for a certain fairness. Sure. And when well, he doesn't get that, he overcorrects. The, yes. The kid that he was, like, mentoring, yeah. right? Uh, I don't remember what his name is. But that, yeah. that little kid, he was trying to help. Yeah. And now he's, like, hard into Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. But he was trying to... And he saw the whole thing with LaRusso. Like, not Daniel, but... Uh, Anthony? Anthony, yeah. Right? With, like, Anthony LaRusso and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, he was your bully? And he's like, well, not now. Because now he's the bully. Because yeah. he joined Cobra Kai and knows stuff that he doesn't, you know? Mm-hmm. And he... And there was a lot of misunderstanding with that, too. Like, there was some yeah. bullying, but there was also some not. So, I, I, Robbie might be my favorite just because, like, I... From his perspective, I can understand usually why he feels some of the ways he feels. Yeah. Like, I feel abandoned by my dad. My mom doesn't care about me, you know? I found, like... Uh, camaraderie in this dojo yeah. but then also like this dojo is changing and I'm not really agreeing with some of the stuff I'm seeing from this you know like there's stuff like that that I, yeah. I, I just I like following where he's going and the, the, the life he's had so far yeah and I just I really like the actor too I think that he's yeah. really skilled like he obviously puts a lot of work into trying to do his own stunts yeah and he watches uh, YouTube so, you know, maybe, he watches maybe YouTube he's yeah he watches YouTube. hot ones <laughs> <laughs> He has that like classic like if this was in the 90s he would have been on like the teenage hot throb magazine you know with, with John Taylor Thomas like, uh, he has that look the too. heartthrob thing like, like the, the hair yeah the, the kid just has a lot going for him sure. I'm really happy for I mean, him I love, this is a cool vehicle to, show, to for me to like increase my fandom of that guy yeah you know? like I love so many of the characters I just yeah. think that he's like for story wise I just I've enjoyed his the most so yeah me too I would say so I mean Johnny is also super special in what oh, yeah. I accept sure. yeah. like, I, I have just so much he's so like I said it before like, he's so ignorant it's endearing he is and sometimes I love it yeah. you know like Daniel knows more than Johnny does yeah. and sometimes I hate him yeah. for the things he does but then there's like s- this ignorant things that Johnny does and I'm like oh it's so cute yeah. us, you know I know it's it's like they perfected the formula of Michael Scott from The Office where like oh don't do that it, sure. and you feel like this cringe because Michael cares too much about what people think Johnny the missing ingredient, ingredient that Michael Scott needed is that Johnny doesn't give a shit what people think so his ignorance, uh, it shows up all the time, but he's also not afraid to say what he wants, and usually that is a, is a good thing, what yeah. he wants. So I love it. But what was with that guy chewing that pepper? You see his head? Like, I, how do you move your muscles up here? Like, you, he, so if you put your hand right here, you don't feel movement? Not when I chew. Well, you're not really chewing it. Eric, yeah, wait, definitely. You, Eric, wait a minute. Chew again. You do this... Okay. We did that now, at one point. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I switch stuff from one side to the other to see if I can get like a full. Like it reminds me of like a cow, like doing that like yeah. motion. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Do you feel? Well, like I have a clicking jaw. Yeah, I feel it here. So here, like my here. brother does it too. Like I use a like clicking jaw, so sometimes I go around the click. I don't feel it on this side though. I don't, I don't feel it side. at all. But that guy had like fucking like race car stripes down his head that were moving. Yeah. Like he looked like. The, the red rain or the green rangers helmet up there <laughs> in terms of like the ridge <laughs> I guess. that whole thing was like it was like pulsating down as he was going i just couldn't look away i loved it i couldn't look away if i was ever going to cast someone to primarily chew i would cast that guy so it's probably perfect casting that's all he did he, chewed. he did it well he chewed one pepper i was yeah. kind of like this guy hasn't eaten a damn thing he ate one <laughs> yeah, he pepper at first, I was like, "Well, maybe he's just maybe he just judges your responses." Yeah. Can you know. eat it? I'll, yeah. Uh, and he's crying. Yeah, he didn't do it well. All in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All because he wouldn't move his van. Yeah. <laughs> now he wants money. <laughs> All right. Well, fun episode. Uh, can't wait to see what happens next. Is it, do we go back or do we stay in Mexico? I don't know. I don't know. We went back in time well, in the very beginning of this. Right so that was cool to have like Sato and Young Chosen for just a second. But mm-hmm. it also means that he was dishonorable. So honor means more now, maybe. Yeah. I, don't know. I got really hyped right when we saw it, and I was like, are we going to see another Miyagi? But I think they might not want to do that. Well, it was 72 as well, so he wouldn't have been there. He wouldn't have been there, yeah. but it's just, it opens the possibility that you could have Miyagi appear in the show. 
but I know they're trying not to kind of do that, right? Like, yeah. You don't want to uh, recast them, really. Sure. But maybe as a child, it'd be fun. I don't know. No, be there. What happened? The, yeah, no, be there. In the second movie, when he saved Sato at the end, didn't he like he broke like a fucking tree or something, right? Like, they were having the hurricane. Sato goes out to try to help someone. He gets stuck. He was pinned under a tree. Miyagi comes yeah. out and, like, cuts a tree in half with his hand. You remember that? I don't think he cut a tree in half. I remember half. thinking that felt supernaturally strong. <laughs> I don't think he cut a tree in half. We'll have to look Did it he? up and we'll report back next week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe as there's going to be a new episode every week right here at Blind Wave. Uh, but if you don't want to wait that long, you can see the next four episodes, or at least up to the next four episodes, over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Links in the description below with our full length. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> For a couple books.